The Cato Institute recently published an article titled, Make the Unvaccinated Pay Their Own Way. Sounds free market, right? Even libertarian? There are problems. The article compares the hospitalization of an unvaccinated man at an estimated cost of $3 million to what might only have been about $40 had he been vaccinated. It then points to the Kaiser Family Foundation, who reported that during August of 2021, unvaccinated adults drove $3.7 billion in medical costs. The article's point, the unvaccinated should pay for risk-taking. Here's what Cato conveniently leaves out. The CDC reports that in 2017, the total estimated cost of diagnosed diabetes was $237 billion, while obesity averages $147 billion annually. Compare that to the $3.7 billion from August, which would total $42 billion annually. There's more. In July, the CDC reported between March 2020 and March 2021, 94.9% of over 540,000 patients identified with COVID had one underlying medical condition. That same report stated the strongest risk factors for death were obesity, anxiety disorders, and diabetes. In the CDC's Morbidity and Mortality Weekly report for March of this year, of over 148,000 hospitalized patients with COVID between March and December of 2020, 78% had a BMI of 25 or higher. This is not to demonize people with medical conditions or those with extra weight. When the unvaccinated are blamed for causing unnecessary medical costs, it's worth pointing out the same preventable conditions play a major role in existing costs in the healthcare system and one's risk of hospitalization from COVID-19. I will demonize Cato for intellectual malice by selectively presenting information as if vaccination choices should be treated differently than other choices. Paying for your choices in the free market is a very libertarian idea. Selectively defending one behavior over others is not. That's all for today. Stay safe and guard your liberty.